right guys, Dave here for the Reptile Channel Herpers TV. So I am at the Reptile Super Show here in Pomona, California. This place is huge! So we're gonna go check this place out from one end to the other here on Zilla Presents the Reptile Channel Herpers TV episodes. Sykes is here and he has some of the most incredible leopard geckos anywhere. I'm gonna go over and talk to him real quick and have him show us just some of the cool leopard geckos that he's working with. All right, so what we have here, Godzilla Supergiant, uh, albino, this, is a, this guy's a beast. 140 grams here, one of our biggest ones that we have here just at the show. This, is, uh, this guy's a uh, grandson of Godzilla, which is one of our largest uh, tripper giants. Actually, he's not the the largest. We actually have one of his sons that's even gotten bigger than him, up to 176 grams. This is a Nefurus amii, rough knobtail gecko from Australia. This is one of our hypos. Doesn't show her best hypo coloration here at the show, but when she's in her box at home, um, she's bright flaming orange um, and uh, super beautiful. This is a white knight. Um, this is a, uh, um, a leopard gecko morph that expresses blizzard, eclipse, and the bell albino gene. So this is the um, uh, bell albino version of the Diablo Blanco. All right, this is a Tremper albino sun glow. Tremper sun glow. Um, this is actually from a, a bloodline from our friend Marsha uh, McGinnis at Golden Gate Geckos. And this is actually the first year that we're releasing uh, the Golden Gate Geckos uh, sun glows. We've been working with them for a little while and building our groups and working on refining the bloodline. And uh, now they're ready to start selling in uh, 2018. So Mike Roscoe is here. Guys, you may remember that video called Bodacious Boas. I put it up about a year ago. So I'm gonna go talk to Mike and see what kind of new boas he has from the last time that I was out filming in his facility. Let's go check this out. Mike Roscoe. What's, What's up, up, guys? All right, show us some really cool boas that, you know, from the last time that I was out at your facility filming, some of the cool stuff that you've had since then. So here's some of the boas that we were working on producing last year when you guys were at the facility. So this is some of the production of what you guys saw us pairing when you guys were there last time. So I'm gonna pull out a few things. So a few of the things I'm gonna pull out is the VPI Jungle Sun Glow and uh, Hypo Aztec Jungle Head Anarate. Here we have a couple of snakes. We have a VPIT positive Sun Glow Jungle Aztec and a Red Panther Jungle Tea. So here I got a couple other cool things for you guys. So here we brought in from Europe, there's a couple of uh, sharp sun glow purples and an albino sharp purple. And then we also have a nice ghost 100% heavy VPI. Well, thank right, you hey. so much. Good seeing you, brother. That is awesome, man. Thanks you for swinging have some by, of man. the most incredible boas. In Thank the world. You very much. In I the world. <laughs> Enjoy the show, guys. All right. See you later, man. Hey, thanks, Dave.
guys, one of the other cool things about this show is that there are so many other reptile YouTubers here. Brian Cusco is here. DM Exotics is here. Miguel Garcia is here from Always Evolving Pythons. I'm going to do an episode with him tomorrow night. So after you watch this video, type in Pomona Reptile Super Show in the search thingy up front and check out all the other really cool reptile YouTubers that have filmed here, man. There's a bunch of them. And it's, speaking of that, here's DM Exotics. Let's go talk to him. So we got a bunch of... Uh... Maruki. Hey, we were having a conversation about how to pronounce that. Is it Maruki? Marauke. 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 Alright, yeah. so we were wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're um, they're growing fast. They love to eat and um, I'm the snake guy. So I'm not used to having animals looking at me with that look on their face like, please feed me. So I've been caving in, I've just been feeding them and uh, they're growing so fast. Every time I pull them out to look at them, I mean, they're like inches bigger. It's unreal. I think that they're the biggest growing blue tongues there are out of all the blue tongues available. Yeah, These yeah. These guys just, they, they just blow up fast. Yeah, I've seen some, seen some very big ones and man, they grow fast. Yeah. If they have the food, they, they, they put it to good use, that's for sure. So when I was in Thailand and I did the episode episode on Bangkok, we found Lycodons, which are the wolf snakes, and we found them right on the side of the highway in Bangkok. Well, DM Exotics here has them, and they are just awesome. Check these out. So, what's the story on these guys? What are they eating? What are they doing? Uh, they're primarily lizard feeders. Uh, I did some scenting, some messing around with some scenting, and I had uh, pretty good success with that. They're very voracious eaters, and I have a feeling that the common name of wolf snake comes from how voracious they are when it comes time to eat. I mean, they, they really go after the food. They're not shy about it. They're not bashful about it. Uh, in some of my videos, I have some feeding videos where I just put the gecko in by hand and they just go at it. They, they're not shy at all. So are you scenting them with pinkies at all now or trying uh, to win them over? Or? Yeah, just scenting pinkies with, uh, with house geckos. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good success rate. I think over time you can get them all switched over pretty easily. Morph like this in the world known right now. He's uh came out of nowhere and I'm trying to make more right now. So I, I got 12 babies at the moment and seeing how they uh, produce. So I got them all hold back right now. There's a couple with potential and he's just one of a kind and he's a fan and everybody loves him. That is amazing. Did you breed him? Yeah, I had some out. Fantastic. Pythons. All right, so guys, check out these retics. Those are amazing. This one is actually my favorite. This is a purple sunfire marble. It is purple albino, which is the purple color, obviously. Marble, which is going to be this pattern, and then sunfire adds the orange to it, which and fills it in and cleans it up a little bit. So this is like the last one. It's just missing the sunfire. So it's the marble is the pattern again, and the purple albino is the color. This is an Amel Motley Tiger. So it's Amel, which is uh, like a white face albino, but it's not compatible with the normal Clark strains like the marbles. And then Motley and Tiger. Motley is a pattern mutation, and so is Tiger. So they both combine and make this snake here. So that was an awesome tour of this place. You know, this is the biggest show on the West Coast. And, you know, if you think about it, you can get in the car and you can drive around this country and just hit Reptile Expo after Reptile Expo. So, you know, in September, hit Arlington NARBC. In October, hit Tinley NARBC. January, this show right here. February Arlington NARBC, March back to Tinley. You could just keep going and going and going and touring all these shows. Or you can tune into this channel because I'm gonna take you on every single one of them. And we will see you guys next time on the next episode of the Reptile Channel, Herpers TV.